and gentlemen, and welcome to Backseat Gamer. It's the show that asks the question, what's my age again? I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Forgione. You're 39. Thank you. Uh, Jason Amherst. Got, got, get some help? No. Uh, and Ashley Miller. Listen, I'm 13 years old, but I'm in a 42-year-old's body. I gotta go out and get late. Pretty sure that's illegal. <laughs> Please, please don't ever say that again. <laughs> oh, oh, I fucked up the joke. I fucked up the joke from GTA. You, yeah, like, you, you fucked up the joke, all right. Well, no, it's I think from the joke, one of those. Like, I think the joke fucked up you. <laughs> I'll be honest. It was, it was a joke from GT. I can't remember which GTA game because this. It was like, it? but I'm 42. I look 13, but I'm in a 42 year old's body. I gotta go out and get laid. Yeah, right, Mister. Clean your room, Dad. You're an asshole. I, I, I think I think jingling keys fucked up Ashley's. No, <laughs> I am not that fucking simple minded. You can just go fuck yourself. Farting monkey. <laughs> Farting monkey. No, it, the the VTuber said fucking monkey. No, I don't care. It's farting monkey forever now. I'm di- I am die. I'm die. Thank she you forever. She actually, she actually has one of those little uh, uh, primates. You know the the little ones from uh, uh, Madagascar. The oh yes, we love you, King Julian. One of those. Oh. Uh, yeah, she actually has a fucking monkey. Oh shit! It's a yeah. monkey that fucks. Yeah. Let's see. I hear me out. You know how girls don't like when dudes look at their butts in the street, but it's hard not to look because you know they how got yoga pants. Girls don't like boys. Girls like cars and money. Uh, if, I I don't know, like any of that. I just uh, I like violence. How could you? Well, wait. Here, how could you not like money? It it helps you live. <laughs> I mean, m- money is great, but money just buys me expensive Japanese plastic, and that's all I care so, about. So what you're saying is money can't buy you love. Can't buy you love. No, no, m- money money, money just me gets me love. all I want, which is expensive Japanese plastic. Wait a second. Why is this guy wearing a shirt that looks like mine? My sh- That's not a man's shirt. That's a woman's shirt. But he looks better in it than I do. <laughs> it's <that>. the <laughs> man shirt. <laughs> that's just no. not the name of this episode. That's a man shirt. That's a man, that's a shirt. man shirt. Nice. <laughs> no, it's just he's wearing a shirt that looks that looks exactly like one of my Are shirts. You, on, wait a second. Maybe. Did you just, maybe. Did you just assume that? Did you just assume that villain's gender? Right. Maybe that dude's boobs are as big as yours. You don't know. Oh no! Oh no! He's dating uh, Steph. Uh, what's her name? She's Solander. a very uh Steph Tolev. Like it's her boyfriend, <laughs> but he's wearing a shirt that looks exactly like one of my. What shirts. was her? What was her name again? Uh, Steph. Uh, Steph Tolev. I stepped my Tolev on the side of my bed this morning. <laughs> Mm, that's Apollo Mat- <laughs> <laughs> I'm die. Thank you forever. <laughs> that's so sad. Thank you forever. That's yep. That's the one. <laughs> I'm dead. Thank you forever. That's not. I'm dead. I'm die. I'm not to understand. <laughs> It's so hard when they speak so adorable. What about cocks? What about dicks? What about them? What about nuts? What about big fat nuts? Okay then. <laughs> okay, she she plays too much. <laughs> she talked too much. You never shut up. <laughs> oh my god. So legit uh they had a 3D showcase for uh Fuamoko, uh, which are uh, these twin VTubers. And uh, 
they had been very shy recently. Like they'd been going like, oh yeah, no, we have dance lessons. Like, you know, they had been saying that on Twitter and then they had the 3D showcase and part of the 3D showcase was legit a wrestling match between the two of them. Turns out they were trained by DDT Pro Wrestling in Japan. Oh shit. And actually wrestled each other for that segment. <laughs> I was like, oh. holy shit. <laughs> Fuomoko actually wrestled each other <laughs> for their 3D showcase. <laughs> Oh, that's... I never would have imagined those two girls wrestling one ever. cup. No, I mean what? <laughs> it's so funny because it's like they they play up the whole cutesy. Papa, we're cute little fluffy dogs. And it's just like no, they're freaking like you see these two little dog girls wrestling, and it's just like funniest shit ever. And their most recent video on Hollow Live features them like in a classroom and one of them says in English to like the teacher you talk too much and I'm like this is showing up in the next freaking botchamania isn't it <laughs> like I, I'm like what, some, what, they've, they've got to be freaking like wrestling fans and then like freaking uh, MXM MXM tweeted out Fumoko, quit dodging us. <laughs> oh, I'm like, wow. Yeah, I'm like, this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> the, 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 the fandoms, the lines, they keep crossing. <laughs> you know, fandoms do kind of like cross each other in real life. It's getting a little too ridiculous. Like I'm seeing it wrestling and VTubers cross way too much lately. And I've never expected that as, like, lately. It, it, it fucks with you. It really does. It sucks and it fucks. Well, of course. Huh. Philosophy on a blowjob. Of course. What? Oh, it's some news articles that were printed about Jacqueline Novak's comedy special, Get On Your Knees. Which, by the way, it is excellent wordplay, but she does talk about the art of giving a blowjob and how much she likes them. And to kind of, like, get back at a critic who kind of said something shitty to her, she said, I will be talking about blowjobs uh, at Tedium, said one early critic. Give me the old hot to her. Ha! Uh, this girl was since before Hawktua, which, from what I hear, that phrase is kind of dead in the water. Kind I mean, wild. it it wasn't funny to begin with. No. <laughs> well, I... no shit. She got famous for being stupid. Yep. No, she got famous because all the guys wanted her to Hawktua on their thing. Yeah. Like, oh, pretty girl just, likes to give blowjobs. That, that's fun. Look, a lot of people like to give She wasn't even as that well. hot. Like, she was just moderately attractive to average people. Yeah. They call that conventionally attractive. It's the phrase that they use. Uh. It's like, don't be wrong. I know I'm not the prettiest pe peach on the tree, but I love... I love giving head. But I love I referencing Steve Miller band songs. I ain't the shop is two in the shirt. Not even fucking close. <laughs> I know you. It's Smash Double Mouth. Fun. That's like 20 years after Steve Miller band. I know. I know. It's just, I don't get famous for being honest about my sexual proclivities, but then again, it's no one's goddamn business. Yeah, that's because nobody asked you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, meanwhile, like, you know, seriously, like, no, nobody cares about <laughs> sexual shit. I mean, no, nobody cares that you can go, like, come on. The fuck? Oh. 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 
Is that turtle noises? Are those turtle noises? No, no, it's the sound effect uh, from uh, the clip of the puffer fish. Oh, it's like I knew it. I knew it wasn't like a BJ clip, but I'm just like thinking, okay, that could be the sound of a turtle because turtles make weird noises. No, they they make more of like a squeaky toy type noise. Yeah, it's more like it's more like <gasps> yeah. It still weirds me out every time when someone plays a clip of that turtle humping that, uh, what was it, a, a fucking uh, croc, and it I, just I've, zooms in. I've, I've, seen, I've seen turtles hump all sorts of things from bowls to shoes to, like, like if, if it's vaguely turtle shell shaped, they'll hump it. They are horny motherfuckers. They are also dumb as shit. It's true. Yeah. That explains oh. Mitch McConnell. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> hey, you hit him. Game over. Hey, I know I get fucked by <laughs> turtles. Come on. It's like, I can't. Don't, don't talk to me. Or my turtleneck ever again. <laughs> and I don't mean a sweater. I mean, I have an actual turtleneck. <laughs> Mitch McConnell. Mitch <laughs> What is Mitch? When are you going to like, when are you going to die? I know, right? Well, I really wish death on him. I would just wish that the consequences of his actions just, would, just, you know. Just retire, man. Just retire. You know, like, like every single freaking Democrat out there has known when to retire. And Mitch just, he keeps going. Despite you gotta freezing. Know. Like, you Mitch gotta McConnell know. just stands there like. You gotta know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Just know when to whatever. Yeah, you know, like he—he he freaking he freezes and crashes, and you know he just will not. And like, but like everybody else, like Joe retired. That shit balls. <laughs> Yeah, Joe retired before there was even <laughs> ever shitballs. an act two. Says I missed the fucking key. I didn't jump. And... I gotta do it again. We. <laughs> God damn yeah, it! That's a, that's, that's a turtle fucking actually. <laughs> uh, no, that's a, that's a goose. <laughs> no, I actually made a little. <laughs> No yeah, because I was yawning. <laughs> Your yawning sounds like a turtle fucking. I was yawning. <laughs> I was yawning. Oh, God. <laughs> I was yawning. He is old. I play shitty music. There's a, there's a key. There you go. Yeah, I, there's it's, the key. It's been there. I've just missed the jump like 13 times. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Okay, I guess. Nice. You're welcome. I mean, thank you. I mean, whatever. Whatever I mean. I don't know what I mean. <laughs> Police on the scene. You know what I mean? They passed me up, confronted all the dope fiends. If there was a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Check uh, out yeah. the hook while my DJ revolves it. Ice, ice. Pressure. Vanilla Push was an ass, me. ass, baby. <laughs> Push it down on me. Push it down on you. You're an asshole. asshole. <laughs> You're I'm an asshole. It's the family you do. Mother ne never, never forget, he had to sing his dings. He had a what? In court, he had to sing his dings. Ding, 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 ding. It's, uh, it's, totally it's, 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 it's totally different, you know? Because because mine had the tss in there. 
You know, it's, it's different. It's totally different. David Bowie just comes over and slaps him. You just shut your mouth. Oh, see these knuckles. Remember, David Bowie does have cool points because he did make an appearance on Soul Train. Well, too bad he can't cash in those cool points on account of being deceased. I know, you don't have to remind me. Hi, doggy. Well, you keep giving him things he can't redeem. I don't know. Sometimes I question it. Well, I mean, think about it. It's like he there was must on be higher training. love down in the heart or hidden in the they stars. They didn't above. have. They didn't have very many white people on Soul Train, and everyone was grooving along to David Bowie. So it's like he must have done something right. It's time to stop. Thanks, filthy Frank. You're welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the right <laughs> Did you did you know there's a there's a dude on YouTube that uh, started pretending to be Filthy Frank and now everybody just accepts him as the new Filthy Frank? Really? No, I actually did not. Yeah. Huh? Who is this? Who is this perpetrator? Hold on, let me see if I can let me see if I can find him real quick and I'll link you to him. It's like, I'm sorry, I can't accept anyone else as Filthy Frank other than George Joji Miller. Yeah. It, it, that is it kind of like weird. sacrilege. Is it like one of those where it's like, I shouldn't, and then you fall in love, and it's like, man, falling in love with you is fucking poison. Here, I put it in the main text channel. All right. Let's see who this perpetrator is. Who is pretending to be our Francis of the... Oh, my God. That almost had horrible repercussions. <laughs> All right, main text channel. I will Ooh. say... He, he doesn't do a good impression of Filthy Frank's voice. He, he do what now? I said he does do a fairly good impression of oh. Filthy Frank's voice. Yeah, he does, actually. It actually gets better the further you go into his videos. Wait a second. What did I give your mom the weird look? That was like an episode ago, I think. That's not where I posted the link anyway. I posted it in our main text chat. Not the not the channel chat. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, no, 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 oh my god, mm, no, mm, no, no, Body. Mm, no. Ashley, Ashley, <laughs> Ashley. What are you, what are you, you need to calm the fuck Yeah, down. what are you complaining about, Ashley? No, it's, I heard his voice and it sounds just like Filthy Frank and it's hitting those weird parts of my brain that's like, he's back. It's like, no, bitch, he's white. He, he's back. He, he, he regenerated. <laughs> he's Doctor Who. <laughs> yeah. He regenerated. He's Doctor Who. Yep. He came back as a goddamn ginger. And a, and, and a Jew. He's Jewish. <laughs> Jinju. <laughs> Sounds like the thing you have to collect in Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> Jinju. It's just it's so weird because it sounds just like George when he does his filthy Frank voice. Like it's very it's very it's very uncanny how good it is, yeah. Yeah. You know the crazy thing is uh, 
I, I went to the right speed, this motherfucker. <laughs> It's like, who are you, and what have you done with Francis? Ford Coppola. <laughs> Wait a second. So he did get nominated for an Emmy. You chicken shit. Mm, sorry. Um, sorry, my, um... My brain is uh, yes, we, we, we know we know exactly what your brain is. We we we've discussed this many times. Dane, Dane, Dane. I'm, Ashley, I'm, Ashley. I'm, I'm, Dane, 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 Dane Bobane, banana fan of banana fan of Bobane. Me, my, me, my, me, my, 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 pro, pro, my, 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 I sell Dane and Dane accessories. It's just so weird. And my brain's trying to process what I just saw. It's like... Actually, I know it's, really, it's really not that big of a deal. That shouldn't, <sighs> that shouldn't break your brain the way you're, you're making you break your brain. Yeah. You would think... You would think there's there's worse things that have that have you know. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to put the right words. I'm trying to think of the right words because I don't want to think of anything wrong here. It's just there had been times like if you see somebody and they look like someone who you knew and it's just like they look eerily familiar, but I just can't place it. And you look like somebody like, that I used to know. I don't yeah. wanna, I don't, I'm trying to think of the words. I don't want to think of anything wrong here, but incest, f corpse fucking, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> God damn um, it. Those are two things that are wrong. <laughs> now, here's the question. Is George going to be cool with it, or is George going to be like, Hey, cease and desist. Or, no, in this case, if it's Joji, it's like, yo, man, I'm going to need you to not do that anymore. So here's a cease and desist letter. I have, I have no idea. I feel like this is, I feel like, because George isn't going to do the impression anymore. He said it was literally hurting him to do, but I feel like this is something that he would probably give his blessing on. Like, sure, man, I I, I'm not so. doing it anymore. Go for it. I hope he gives his blessing. That would be. I mean, like he, how this this new filthy Frank's been making videos for a while now, so I would assume <laughs> I would assume it would have it would have already happened by now if, if Joji was going to C and D that. Yeah. Well, you know how people are with their original creative identities and their original creative thought. You know, C. See Stony versus, or not Stony, see Sega versus Chris Chan. That's Chris Chan, though. Well, yeah, because Chris Chan is a cunt. Just so you I know, said... my invisible husband is punching you right now. Mm. Invisible husband? Oh, congratulations for coming out. Oh, Quoting Chris Chan. Yeah. Oh. That, uh, that video. Uh, yeah. Those, which, by the way, those cops the... do not did not get paid enough to deal with those... that shit. I seriously hope they did not look into that lore, because if they tried to go on the internet after work and look into that, I they're either gonna be there. either their faces would melt a la Raiders or their fucking heads would explode a la Scanners. Like they would Whichever is grosser. Uh, no, no amount of tax money is gonna the amount of therapy that those cops are gonna need to go under. It's like <laughs> it was a transgender woman and she was talking to like weird spirits that look like anthropomorphic superheroes and or little monster creatures that my grandbabies play with. Whoop, my grandbabies. The hours of therapy. There it is. Whoop. 
The hours of therapy. There it is. Hey, I'm going to be right back. I, I'm, oh, no. I think I need food. Yeah. I think I need yeah. food. You're too slow. You're too slow. You're too slow. Shut the fuck up, Sonic. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back, guys. I'm, I'm not going to be gone too long. It's no use. God It's no <laughs> use. I win. My win. Several wins. Sonic wins. Eric wins. Eric. <laughs> Fucking Aaron. Who? 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 There it is. <laughs> you having fun? Who? Hey. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm having fun, guys. I don't know if I'm oh. having fun. I mean, it depends, I guess, on your definition of fun. Depends on the definition of fun and is. And, and jizz. No, not jizz. Is. <laughs> Thanks, Lewis Black. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And you define the word alone. He doesn't know what the word alone means. <clears throat> I am very familiar with the word alone. <laughs> oh, um, that's Boo. part of the news. All part of by oh. myself. All by myself. Don't want to be all by, by myself. myself. Not anymore. Where? Wow, no, uh, we beat socket. Um. Oh, uh. Oh. There we go. Whoop, there it goes. Whoop, there I jizz. Whoop, shaka locker, shaka locker, shaka locker. That was easy. <laughs> who's who's fapping? Me. <laughs> well, wow. it's pretty impressive because I'm using two hands to play this game. So how could I? <laughs> I guess I'm <laughs> with your with your butt. I, I don't know. <laughs> That that is a funny sound of fapping right there. Yeah. My my balls have a squeaky toy in them. <laughs> and no, that's not the name of the episode. <laughs> and when you come. Mm. <laughs> Fuck them kids, bro. Whoa, no, I'm not Jared Fogel. <laughs> <laughs> not, not doing that. <laughs> oh, man. Viewers. Doink. Doink. The clown. Spadoinkle? You're a Spadoinkle. Da 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 Everybody, Ashley over here looking like Doug Matsumoto on a Tuesday afternoon. The sky <laughs> is green and all the leaves are blue. I'm colorblind. <laughs> 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 Don't honk at my boobies. 
<laughs> How dare you? Stop. Get to hey, I'll do that. I'll honk as many times as I want, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, guys, stop sucking on my nipples. Stop. I'm trying to drive here. <laughs> <laughs> I want your parents to have walked by the room while you're saying that. <laughs> hey, stop, stop flicking on my horsey. I'm trying to drive here. <laughs> what? <laughs> Listen, you idiot. <laughs> Listen, you idiot. Don't, don't suck on my nipples. Don't play with my junk. Don't, don't massage my prostate. Don't do anything. Cause if you do, I'm going to kill you. Steven, please walk by. Please, please walk by. <laughs> Jesus fucking. All right, <laughs> we get it. <laughs> Jesus! Pingers. I don't want to think about Jesus' penis. Jesus Pingers, superstar. <laughs> God damn it, I wrote no clop. That, that's that's what you tell uh that's what you tell uh my little pony fans. No clop. No clop. That's... Bronies, no clop. Oof. Oofa. <laughs> Don't be giving that's, that's, me oof. That's that's the name of the episode, no clop. No clop skip. <laughs> no bald cap, no sniff. No, no, you know, the... no sniff. You... You know, there is a few sound effects that almost always get uh, Dane's parents walking by. Yeah, one of them is the diarrhea sound effect. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Man, the acoustics in the Zoom are great. <laughs> yeah, I gotta love that echoey fart. <laughs> like, bro, check your panties. Are you Josh Peck? Are you Josh Peck's character from Snow Day? <laughs> I'm the spleen. Uh, oh yeah. Oh Paul Rubens. Um, How we loved you. We, we... How we loved and how you loved yourself. In that <laughs> I felt like Dane just gave him a eulogy, and then Jace just flushed his body down the toilet. <laughs> Don't worry about his body. I flushed it down the park. Around and around it goes. Around and around it goes. Hi. Hi, Hi Dane. Nice to meet you. I'm Mike. You were around too Hi. far, Jason. <laughs> Goo -goo -ga -ga. Hey, you want to come do improv with us in this little chat room with our friends? <laughs> I'm a I'm a baby. I, I can't do that. <laughs> wow, you really went around too far. Why are you Why are you making a cast register noise about babies? Are you about to sell them into slavery? What is this? <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, a child! Perfect for labor. <laughs> oh man, I'm JD Vance, and I approve this man. <laughs> I'm gonna go fuck a couch now. <laughs> that was me fucking Wait. a couch Wait, while wearing clown you, shoes. He never, he never did fuck the couch. I don't give a shit if he did or not. I I say he fucks couches. Look, it's a funny joke, but be careful because you know he could sue for that shit. He can lick the fattest part of my taint. <laughs> I mean, look at the look at the. Uh, boxer that people thought wasn't a man and or was a man no. and she wasn't and now she's doing a bunch of people who no, were no there there is legitimate reason for her to sue them because it interfered with her career yeah me calling jd vance a couch fucker doesn't does isn't going to hurt him he's already the vice presidential nominee for the republicans 
he there's already he's already done the most damage to his career just doing and that. A, and a <laughs> he, he has a book and a freaking movie based off the book. Yeah. Book. And and he's a venture capitalist. Yeah. And with multiple doesn't. companies. So he's already the mo the most damage he's done to his career, he's done to himself. His his company has burnt monkey balls. What? Which is appropriate what? because JD Vance reminds me of burnt monkey balls. <laughs> Seriously, the fuck? One of his companies has done experimentations on animals that led to burning monkey balls. Gross. Yeah. So, yeah, I'd say that's pretty gross. So I'd say to hell with JD Vance. He fucks couches. Yep. I mean, it's still a funny notion, especially with most of the couches today looking like couches. He's anyhow. You know, that couch be looking extra slutty. Like, I don't even need you know, a Mexico look up with two sponges. I'll go in just raw dog the couch. You know, I was in Love Shack the other day. I think Raw Dog uh, the Couch might be the title of the episode. <laughs> I was in Love Shack the other day. You were in the Love Sack? Yeah. Love and, uh, Sack, baby. Those couches were... Getting me pretty excited. Love sack baby. I walked into Aaron's and got a boner. <laughs> a boner. Love sack. I don't take crap. That's glove slap. Oh yeah, good point. <laughs> I'm just wondering who started the rumor about him having sexual congress with a couch. Some guy like on that? Twitter literally posted a fake passage complete with uh, page numbers. Oh, shit. Yeah, from his, from his book. Yep. So he got, he got double, he got done did by a fucking Twitter troll? Yep. Wow. It was literally just a Twitter post that looked realistic enough because rather than a photo of a page, it was just text complete with page numbers that was just convincing enough because it was page numbers. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, they made it look like it was an annotated piece of text. Yeah, all those Photoshop skills are coming in handy, you know. Well, who needs whoever. who needs Photoshop when you can make something look like it was a researched piece it. of text? That's so fucking nuts. That's nuts. Yeah. No, just just proof that all you need to do is make something look like it's well researched. Somebody piece in of the media. XAW chat said Donka, and then somebody else went, "Oh, I I know the response. I just don't know how to spell it." So I put it in there. It's B I T T E Bitta, but my autocorrect changed it to Butte B U T T E. <laughs> well, now you're in my hand, but <laughs> don't, don't you mean don't you mean the X <laughs> don't you mean the XCW chat? That's what I said. You said XAWA. No, I said XCW. Oh, I must have heard XAWA then. What the fuck? Yeah. yeah what's wrong with you? <laughs> but anyway, yeah. <laughs> so it's a Donka butt cheeks. <laughs> Darling, Donka butt cheeks. <laughs> butt cheeks. <laughs> By the way, and this is something I wanted to point it out in regards to the picture that um, uh, Jace posted of uh, a certain he who shall not be named Ow. Uh, with the last name of Taint. He really does look like he has a weak chin. Uh, again, like Mel said, oh, it looks like somebody hit him in the side of the face with a shovel. And I was like, no, that's an insult to little Nikki. Well, the thing is, he was uh, he was like a, a Muay Thai fighter, so he probably took some decent blows to the face. Even then, I don't that know still his... looks like an insult to little Nikki. That I mean, his... like Shinsuke Nakamura looks better than him. I've seen pugs look prettier than that piece of shit. Did 
seriously, I would rather show love and affection to a pug instead of ever breathe a breath of recognition to that piece of shit, man. And you know what's funny and fucked up? Is he was doing just fine hiding from everybody in Romania. What did he have to do? He got into a pissing contest with a a pissed off political activist who told him that he had a tiny penis because of his Ferrari. She called him small dick energy. Yeah. Like, how easily offended are you willing to allow yourself to get caught just a to lot, try to... A lot of those people are small dick energy. I mean, look, look at my crowd sizes. Big crowds versus AI. So I, I have the biggest crowds, very large. Yes, yes, of course, Mr. Trump. Everything stinks. <laughs> it stinks. It stinks. It stinks. <laughs> tiny dick. Tiny dick. Tiny dick. Tiny dick. God damn it. Learn to type. <laughs> damn it, get on the who? thing. Who? 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 You. That's who. Who? 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 What if God was one of us? Just a small one of us. Blue, 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 blah, 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 blah. I mean, he did. He did make a valiant point when he forgot the lyrics to "What if God was one of us." I would have done the exact same fucking thing. Yeah. What if Knob was one of us? What if Hulk Hogan wasn't a fucking racist? <laughs> Fair. Well, the effect. I mean, uh, yeah. Recently, uh, I, I saw a meme that was like, "Hey, Hulk Hogan, how you doing?" And he's like, "I'll drop an elbow on Kamala Harris." Uh, it's like Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Like, dude, that's a hate crime. That's a hate crime. That, that's a fucking hate crime. Don't. Yeah, do but, it. but it, is it a hate crime? Yeah, it was. It was the. Uh, it was that. Uh, the the meme with the stick figure guy with the glasses. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Do something. Please read the caption. Do something. <laughs> I love what one of my friends just responded to this one. Multi-billionaire owner of luxury jewelers Cartier says the thought of the poor rising up and overthrowing the rich keeps him awake at night. Good. Stop. I can only get so erect. Ah. <laughs> uh... It's a shame that some of my favorite comedians almost have a net worth of like two or three million dollars. Yet. Two or three dollars. Well, no, I'm I'm not going to say who this comic is in particular, but they dress kind of like not always the best. Like they wear nice pants. They wear black t-shirts. They wear plaid. They wear combat jackets kind of similar to me but yet they always have the freshest Nike kicks they spent two million on a house and it's like okay they drive us Subaru okay I get it Subarus are nice cars but they're not like super expensive why are you saying okay. like why are you saying Subaru like uh, Elmer Fudd or Subaru because... <laughs> Su <laughs> Suba 
Go ahead. Hello. Sub. Yeah. Not gonna lie, adding the uwu at the end of it just kind of like gave me cringe vibe. Sub. Uh, I heard a jailbird call for the uwu magic. Let's go. Rar uwu xi owo mia owo nya uwu neko owo ta hihi uwu uwo ehe kawaii. Why do you keep making me say weird things like that? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go rip my duck off and throw it in the river. Well, don't do that. Someone might steal it. No, well, what do I care? It's not a part of me anymore at that point. <laughs> yeah, but do you really want someone else doing terrible things with your dick? What if they put your dick at the end listen, of a whip? If people were going, people. listen. If if somebody, if people are that desperate to touch my dick, they can do it while it's still a part of my body, okay? Because <laughs> then at least I get something out of it. <laughs> That's why I'm saying, don't rip your dick off. Because you know, what if someone used your dick as a silencer? That's not going to happen. Know? You know why? Because nobody touches my dick now. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> so. Well, considering I ain't worried about it. Lives near him. Um, <laughs> uh. <laughs> they deflate. <laughs> yes. Yeah, my last girlfriend was inflatable. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much what she sounded like when she deflated. Oh, god damn it. Aw, what, what a maneuver. What a maneuver. That was good puppet shit. Anyway, so uh, we've anyway. Given, we've given this game the old the, this DLC the old college try. I don't think we're going to finish it before the end of today's show, which would either which would either necessitate one more session of Quake. But the problem is, is I don't think we ha will have another complete full episode of Quake out of what we got do, left. So do we want to. This will probably this will, well knows this will still probably be the last episode of Quake. Uh. It's just we won't be finishing this DLC. Because I don't think we can get another episode out of it. Unless we ran overtime, but then Dane would have to leave. Well, Jason, I, mean, I can hold down I'm, the fort. I'm home right now. You know. Okay, well, I, I mean, might. We, we might record. We might record one more episode then. Just to finish this up. Put a, put a bow on it. And if it ain't long enough to be a full episode, then I'll just tack it on to the end of this one. That's happened I mean, before. I mean, Dane's, Dane's got... Dane knows his worth, and he's got to stand on business, and we're not going to stop him. Yeah. Yeah, if you need to leave, Dane, you can. I mean, I'm not going to force you to stay. Okay, bye! See ya. Have a good night. <laughs> Don't forget to write. Also, don't forget to learn how to write so you can write. Shit, I, I was I was about to not learn how to write, but now that you said that, <laughs> yeah, my a damn thing. I have to finish the story. Oh, I, I, okay. <laughs> bo, bo, okay. <laughs> okay, Cody. <laughs> Finish the story. I know how to do cornrows. I'm a black hero, Cody Rhodes. He, he ended racism. Yes, he most certainly in my boopsy. Although I'm not gonna oh, lie. Oh, uh, interesting fact. Monday Night Raw will see the first ever match. Uh, with, uh, Uncle Howdy in it. 
Okay. It'll oh. it'll be Uncle Howdy versus Chad Gable, which will be actually a rematch, considering that the last time Uncle Howdy was in a ring, he was Bo Dallas facing off against Shorty G. Okay. Chad Gable. But is no. Chad Gable going to be a face or a heel? Because they did. He's, he's a heel. Shoot him. Okay, so we cheer for Uncle Howdy. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The Wyatt Six are faces. Yeah, they're faces. Oh, see, I yeah. did not know that. American made are heels because they come out and they've got basically uh, Deaf Rebels knockoff of You suck. You suck. You Su- suck. Sue you yuck. Suck. <laughs> Sue yuck. Not creative, not original. Yeah, uh, basically. Uh, yeah, it's it's basically. Oh hey, we we wrote the we, we, closest we. possible thing to Kurt Angle's theme with it not being Angle's theme, complete with a uh, rhythm you can chant. You suck to. Hey, you suck. Hey, oh, uh, you suck. did you hear about the uh, controversy with the Doom plus Doom 2 that came out recently? I did not hear about that. So it's like, oh, hey, mods are available on console. Most of them are broken. Uh-oh. Okay. Because they weren't meant for uh, Doom plus Doom 2. They were meant for Jeezy Doom. Jeezy Doom. Oh, yeah. The, that, yeah. I've used yeah. Jeezy Doom to play Doom on a number of occasions. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Bethesda making another massive fail again. Also, people just, you know, not crediting. Like, there's, there's at least six or seven versions of, like, My Home and none of them work. They like crash upon loading. It's it's a mess. <laughs> Are you talking about my house wad? Or my house wad, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know about that one. Yeah. I've never actually That that is it. a fascinating wad, yeah, actually. It I watched the video is. explaining it. So, so did I. It is the Doki Doki Literature Club of uh Doom wads might be something I consider uh, doing for Halloween this year. I, I think you got to check out the uh, the one that kind of plays like uh, Wario Land. Oh yeah! Uh, before Ooh. I forget, Jason, I'm going to ask you to collect some more uh, ROM hacks for me. I'll, uh, for, for... I'll I'll grab I'll grab a nice variety. Some yes. Some Super Mario World, some Mario sixty four. There's some. There's some good stuff. There's even a uh, a Mario sixty four maker now, actually, complete with yeah. a hub where you can download uh, Mario sixty four maker levels online. What? Yeah. Now the the fans the fans are getting so good at this shit. It is amazing. I really, really need to see Deadpool and Wolverine. I really need to see it. I have seen it. Fun fact. It's great. Fun fact. There is a character in the movie that is not credited to Ryan Reynolds, but rather Gordon Reynolds. Uh, yeah. Very clever tongue-in-cheek reference right there. Very meta. Interesting. Yep. Mm. We man, I'm starting to get tired. This is I'm bullshit. tired. Oh, ravioli. Oh, mamma mia. Oh, spaghetti. I'm starting to get tired. I can barely keep my ass so 
I can barely keep my ass open. Gee. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. My secret tunnel's off limits. I know. Um. <laughs> in, in in an alternate dimension, if Family Guy were a uh, Paramount property, there would be an Avatar uh, parody. My secret tunnel's off limits. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. My secret tunnel just needs a little bit of restoration. It's a fixer upper. Oh, dear. What? It's what? A, 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 it's a home improvement joke. Excuse me. What the fuck was that? That sounded like the hardest part. It sounded like. Oh. <laughs> 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 right, before the, the waiting is the hardest part. Is there any, is there any queefing to the sound effects? <laughs> um, no. Not that I, I would want to. <laughs> Technically, if we're talking sound wise, queefing and farting should be one and the same. But there's there's a what is what is that? I don't know. It's... Now it just sounds like someone's pussy is trying to tell secrets that no one should know. What? <laughs> I can't, can I tell you a secret? I'm telling you a secret. Oh, yeah, baby. That's, that's using the brain. That's using my brim. That would be an interesting weapon name. I got the brim. It sends you on the edge. Pretty sure it's Kung Lao's weapon, the brim. Yeah. Uh oh. The Jaws is here. Jaws is here. Who summoned Jaws? Hello. All right, I award a thousand points to Ryan. On the next game is called Scenes from a Hat. I say something got buzzed out by um, in party quirks. <laughs> Plankton uh. and SpongeBob. Oh, I'm tired of these fucking AI covers. Okay, we're not playing. Uh, uh, we're, not, what I'm done. we're not playing party quirks. <laughs> Good We're playing my wiener. Gringo Bandito. I got the pistols. If you got the pesos, I've got the piss. No. Well, apparently, Gringo Bandito is a brand of hot sauce created by Dexter Holland. Who? Dexter Holland. Uh, he's the lead. Lead singer of The he's Offspring. Oh. The... Uh, yep. All right. Yeah, I get it. Story. Combinations. Once upon a time, there were Isaac and Isaac. All right. Isaac. Uh, so... I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start a third episode of this session uh, in just a moment. But first, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. Thank you for joining us for this edition 
of Backseat Gamer. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Ford, Joan, Jason Amherst, and Asher Miller, I'm Mike Radley saying see you next time on Backseat Gamer. Good night, everyone. Good, 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 good